Okay, and we are going to start the stream. We're a bit early, but we're gonna get this party started. Got everything all set up. I did some test recordings, and hopefully everything will go down with this. Whatever I, that saying goes. Yes, we're today. We're not playing a Steam game today. We're going to play an emulation. And what emulation is this? Something you probably never even heard about. <laughs> memory card. There is no memory card, you fool. Enix, before they got absorbed by Squaresoft and they be sucked. Just like Squaresoft and their terrible mini games. Ooh. Sandlot. Oh, that's a familiar name. You guys know who they are? Ooh. That thing has a very dangerously small piece of mine. Ugh. You can already tell this game is super Japanese. <laughs> oh well. That's where the usual most of the past games come from. Ooh, it's Macross. Ooh, those ones are skinny as hell. Those would snap right off if they punched a robot. Oh, and speaking of punching. Oh, and there goes the trademark. World Trade. Ooh, that was a bad joke. Sorry. Cool. You want to fire all those at once while you're in the city? That probably just took out your damage. Oh! Keeping a dick blaze are... Oh, and it's a rocket puncher! Just like the stupid Mazinger series. Yeah, I'm not, If you, in case you didn't know, I'm not a big fan of the super robot genre like Mazinger. I prefer real robots like Gundam. So anyway, this is Robot Alchemic Drive, a game that came out for the PS2 back in 2002, made by Sandlot. And if you don't know who Sandlot are, they're the guys who made the EDF games. Where you're running around shooting giant ants and stuff. In this one, you're fighting giant robots in Tokyo and stuff. You'll see a lot of similarities. Now, the, before I start, let me tell you how I came across this game. I uh, first encountered this game back in, uh, I, is, is chat warping? Hey, sorry, I'm just checking on, hang on, I'm gonna reset my chat real quick. So anyway, I came across this game on a demo, PlayStation Magazine demo disc a long time ago, and I tried it, the demo, and I was like, oh god, the controls in this suck. Then, uh, about one or two years ago, I remembered this game and said, oh, I, oh, this game, it's, this, this was made by the same guys who made Earth Defense Force, isn't it? I should give it another go. So I tried that demo again, because I still had the disc, and I had fun with it. I was going to buy the actual game. Unfortunately, since this is an old PS2 game, uh, one that was rather obscure, it it cost like 80 bucks. So yeah, I got just decided to emulate it instead. It, the emulation works good for the most part. Unfortunately, it does tend to lag at times. But oh well, let's have some fun with some giant robots and smash some buildings and shit. And since this is a Japanese game, the X button isn't the accept button. We have to press the circle button. We'll do a new game. <clears throat> the bell. Oops. And we have two control modes. We can use a directional move. We can use the directional mode, or we can use the normal mode, where we have to move step by step with the R2 and L2 buttons. We're gonna do this mode, because we aren't sissy. This is the default one. It has a rocket punch, though it can't transform into a vehicle mode. It's the one that's most used, and the rocket punch is kinda neat, although I was holding a pole, and this isn't the one they selected. Then there's this one, the skinny-armed jet fighter. It's puny, but it's fast. It's also kind of annoying to control in its jet mode. You'll see why. And this is Glide, the castle key. This is the one I used in the depth during my old... I remember using this one during my playthrough of the demo disc all those years ago when I first tried this game because it had the highest attack rating and I thought that was the most important. Unfortunately, it's slow as shit, so maybe not this guy. <sighs> well, the guy... Well, the Twitter poll said they wanted this thing, so I guess... We're going with this thing. 
and we can choose our protagonist. All these characters are essentially the same person. They're the sole heir of a bankrupt Tosokyo family who succeeded the late father as the chairman of the Simulation Preservation Foundation, unaware of its secrets. So we have ge generic anime protagonist. What's the word? Emo, uh, anti-hero slash rival character to the main protagonist. And gir girl, possible love interest. Why is that? What are you wearing? Who wears shorts like that? Dear God, get some pants. Anyway, we're gonna play as the girl because most of the videos I watch on YouTube don't use the girl, and we're gonna be different. So we were, she's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's a lady. And it defaults on no, which made me exit out of the screen of what I was trying to do earlier. So we're going to take our time and select yes. And we, it's time for an unskippable, lengthy explanation of the human history in this universe. Humans set foot on the moon. However, the entire lunar crew dies mysteriously on the return flight. It was moon spiders! That's why we never went back to the moon. Humankind's first manned space station is constructed. Space station's crew all die. Their Taco Bell they ordered was expired. Nectar Radiance is discovered. What the fuck is that? Nectar Radiance is found to be drifting throughout space. It is invariably lethal to any organic life form. It penetrates any substance. Nothing could provide protection from it. So long as Nectar Radiance exists. Yeah. It is impossible for life forms to travel into space. Earth's organic life forms are able to survive only because of the planet's protective atmosphere. Nectar Radiance imprisons life forms on Earth. Humankind christens it the Nectar Barrier. Why did they... Would they christen it with something? They should be cursing it and saying, Damn you, Nectar Radiance! All space exploration are, are indefinitely postponed. Oh, well, at least they can focus on, like, poverty and stuff instead. Humankind cannot advance to the stars. Alien life forms cannot come to Earth from space. Humankind continues its solitary existence. However... Oh, well, at least we don't have to worry about getting destroyed by aliens. We only have to worry about getting destroyed by the, the, the d dumbass politicians with their nuclear war. And this is a transition screen. Also, hello, Cave Wolf 00. Glad you can make it to the stream. I thought you'd like this one. And I have to reconnect to the chat again. The hello, we bring you breaking news. Oh, yeah, and, and stellar dubbing acting. It's just, just beyond belief. Rome is reportedly under attack by a gigantic humanoid weapon. It is said to have suddenly appeared and begun attacking indiscriminately. What the fuck is that thing in the background? Damage is estimated to be catastrophic. We will bring you more information as soon as we receive any updates. Oh. Also, what the f is that a tie or is We've that a made scarf? connection. I've never seen a scarf worn like that. We've got a live Becky. feed from the disaster scene. I'm calling her Becky because the B I think is what the BNN BNN stands for. Becky News Network. That's what they said in another video, I think, at least. Oh no! The Landor Pizza came from is burning! This is live oh. from Rome! And it's the another city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The weapon appears to be attacking indiscriminately. The city is burning. It's it's unbelievable. It's like again, something from out of a movie. Out. Oh! Something shot out of it. It it blew a building apart. Yeah, you were it's a little simply slow incredible. Yeah. The eternal city Did is fast you? becoming a blazing ruin. This isn't a movie. This is real. Yeah, this yeah. is reality. Yes, yes, it's very, quite shocking, Jamie. Can we, can we get back to my show now? I'm trying to watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Okay, I've opened a chat for the second time. Hopefully I can still see the messages. And yes, we know it's destroying stuff. Kinda looks like those little running running monsters from Klonoa, actually. The little purple ones. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie coming out July, by the way. B be sure to pre-order it when you can. Oh. I have to hurry here. I might be late meeting up. Meanwhile, in a Japanese soap opera. 
The Adventures of Mrs. Pink Pants. She's waiting on the train station the platform. Tra the There's the station something. up ahead. Yes, I can see the station, lady. Yes, set the station. Very clearly see it. Don't have to treat me like a child. Do happy days. Nothing bad could go wrong. We're all so happy. No one's going to die. The platform is up past the wickets. The wickets. Is that what they call those, or was that a translation error? Oh, who cares? And look, no one's here. We can ride the subway for free. Yay! Fuck you, free market. Oh, God, we can almost see up her skirt. God damn it, Japan. Why is it your deal with that? And here's our friend. You're late. Oh, fuck off. I'm sorry. I slept in. But... And the game's cutscenes kept interrupting me when I was coming here. Nanao, we've been friends since junior high. We met in the swim class. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, thanks for joining me to shop. Let's catch the next train. Okay. Yes, Arriving on track one is a I'm local train bound for East for no reason. Please stand back. And Kiji Buzz in the stream just got pushed in now over here for no reason. Oh God! Normally I tr damn it I, I could put you could push her into that too and she'd get thrown away. But attention, Miss Sukioka, calling Miss Sukioka. Oh, that's us. We're being ta Siren Head is talking to us. Can you hear me, Miss Sukioka? Yes, I can hear you. What is going on? They're calling for you. Miss Sukioka, please come now. The Trillennium Committee needs your help. Oh, can't tell them to do it. take care of it themselves. We're going shopping. The Trillennium Committee? Need to buy really short skirts, because <laughs> this is Japan. The committee has gone respect. active. What are you talking about? What is the committee? Get get used to now asking a lot of questions. You'll be she'll be asking a lot of them. Huh? What do you mean? What's that? The cause of Sukioka's bankruptcy. They've spent a fortune making scrap metal. PlayStation Xbox Series X. Yeah, what a bunch of scrap metal that was. Oh, the oblivion portals opened. What is this? I don't know. Someone casting lightning over and over again? What's going on? I don't know. No! It can't be! The Phantom Effect? The Tenkaichi Bukadakai? Oh no! For such a big robot, it has silly little pincer hands. <laughs> Look at them. It's like a tyrant T-Rex with its little fingers and its short stubby arms. I can't believe it! What? What is that? Oh, I don't know, a pickle. It's a giant robot, you dumbass. A Volgara giant. I didn't think it existed. Oh, well, yeah, I don't fucking believe it either. Anyway, I think it's a good time to get out here. Let's split. Oh. Now we can get a look at all the pedestrian models that spawn whenever a these big ass robots appear. Yeah, look at them PS2 Texas. Oh, dear. People, just climb over the guardrails. You don't have to just run, run into them. Okay, maybe we should run into That robot is heading towards the city. It's already in the city. I have to go. Oh my god, I, I drank too much tea today. I must use the restroom. And probably get perfed well, now, on. Now, wait. <laughs> Japan. Where are you going? Oh, and here's a slope. I have to go home to Grandma! Yes, my Grandma! She will give me an ancient medallion that will allow me to become Sailor Moon! She wasn't feeling well, so she stayed in bed! That's a really bad idea. Did you see what happened to the kid in The Witches when he tried to go back to his Grandma when he found out about the Witches? They Turns out they knocked her out, and then they captured him and turned him into a fucking mouse. Did you see that shit? 
Then, then if it was the, what was it, the 70s version, if he got turned back into a kid and he was naked briefly, and that was not cool for a movie. Thankfully, they Wait. didn't do that in the remake. You're not going to try running right by that robot, are you? Though the remake did have that shitty CGI. Well, it's just standing there, so she could probably make it. I have to save my grandma! Moon Prism Power! Okay. I'll go with you. Yep, let's go get killed. Trying to save your dumb grandma. Surely she would hear this. It's just down this street. Out of the way, douchebag. We're trying to save her life. Now should be very should be following us. Yes, there she is. And it reconnected again. My Twitch chat. Can you guys say something in the chat real quick to see if it registers? This might be the reason why I didn't see the chat. Anyway, her grandma's house is up here in this traditional Japanese home. Quickly now, hurry! And with this, we'll save Grandma, Grandma and she'll become an invaluable member of our party. If you've listened to the tone of my voice, you'll know that isn't the case. Instead, we're just going to sit here, make sure Nanao is close to the house as possible. And I'm going to reset tw Twitch again because this freaking thing keeps disconnecting for some reason and I can't see the chat. Hang on folks, I'm I'll be right there. Don't go away. Okay, I'm still here. You guys still following? <laughs> okay, well I reset the chat, so hopefully I'll be able to see more comments. There's Mr. Pink Crab Jaw. Teeny Crab Claw. And <laughs> Teeny Hands. Teeny Hands. We got Teeny Hands. Ah! I got fun at the camera. Grandma! That sure as shit didn't happen in Witches. No! <laughs> this can't be true! And little waterfalls of tears come out of her eyes like in all those animes. The city. Senjo is on fire. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Thankfully, Nanao is still alive. I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. There's just some random old guy standing here. Let's go say hi. Oh, there goes a teeny tiny police car. Those things must be very uncomfortable. A body crafted of Repton Carbonite Alloy. So that's a Volgara giant. Nice hair, giant ass. The predictions then were indeed correct. Okay. Dr. Yeah. Arai. So we gotta go talk to this guy, because we know him, apparently. German? I'm a chairwoman. What Don't good timing. Observe. That is a Volgara. I will remind you that thing is still the standing there. The one who can overcome the nectar barrier. That thing's still standing there. It could shoot us with another laser at any minute. We don't have time for that now. We have to take cover. Take cover? Yeah, we'll go underground where ner the nerve control center is. In that underground area. What are you me. saying? Isn't there something that you ought to be doing? You want me to transform into Sailor Moon? Pardon? Why does the Trilinium Committee exist? Still can't see the chat. I hope if you guys are chatting, I'm... Okay, I can see the chat now. Okay, why does the Trilinium exist? What purpose does the Mega Knight serve? Um, I don't know. It, it, it acts as a night light. That's why it has night in its name. Are you saying the Mega Knight is... Kiji says this old man looks like Spike as an old man, although, which Spike? The one from My Little Pony? I... That's kind of... No! It can't be! 
It was all for what is happening today. This is the controller. Now go! Go to the committee! Take this bootleg PS2 controller so we can mass produce it and s make a fortune selling them to the gr greasy kids in America. Oh, Cowboy but... Bebop. I've never watched that. Sorry. Get going! Hurry! Well, okay, you creepy bitch. Sorry about the lag. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about that. Um, so anyway, we gotta go to the committee, and we're not gonna go that way, because I don't want to get stuck. Come to now. Volgara. It seems shameful to destroy it. People, I don't think running into that backyard behind that brick wall is going to save you. For you are the apex of evolution. The ultimate form of life. I really don't think so. The ultimate form of life is just a robot? Oh! Oh no! Weird guy from Cowboy Bebop! Dr. Arai! My carrot is also my carrot! Why? Why? <sighs> oh well, I guess I'll go play some Earth Defense Force. Before the world is destroyed. Oh yeah, and we, our phone apparently can transmit live news broadcast, even though it's the This is Mika Banhara, live from downtown Senjo. And an immeasurable devastation is unfolding here at the hands of an enormous now, humanoid weapon. Uh, we it is it. Oh, firing what appear to be beams of massive destructive power. Because the weapon appeared oh. with no warning, the public and the authorities orphanage. appeared to be in a total panic. It is the scene of unbelievable destruction and carnage. Oh, yeah, what it's you are seeing is not a movie. Already, numerous casualties like have been reported. Well, why really that many casualties? And we made it to the committee. Ah, Chairman. You're just in time. Fine, then we will launch Lyol. I am German, Wiener Schnitzel. Pardon? Wasn't it unfinished? Alchemic drive hasn't been tested. System ignition could be... Oops, skip that. You're still going to launch? No, well, you got her. If anything goes wrong, it will be a catastrophe. But, while I would like to avoid unnecessary risk, Senjo is doomed if we don't act. I, I skip prep propositions because I German. Germans very smart at creating weapons of mass destruction. Alchemic drive may go out of control and kill us. Or we die at the hands of the Valgara. Valgara, not Valgara. We have no choice. Pray that it works. Mm, okay. But the risk. Don't quit your bitching. You get to t control a giant robot. What are you people saying? What is Lyle? Oh, shut up. Not now, no, now. We're trying to talk talk business. Alchemic drive ignition. Lyle, prepare for lunch. F this is no time for lunch, Doctor. Anyway, we're gonna just hop back here real quick. This is weird. And I think it's slowing down a bit again. And there's our robot. Thank God it has a VTOL mode. What? What is that? Ooh, pretty. A huge plane? Yep. The Flying Fortress for City Defense. Air Dominator Lyol. Trademark toy animation. Controlling Langoyal. Directional buttons are what? Advance, turn left, right, and retreat. Now you try. That's actually what the German guy says when he, in, when you're doing the tutorials. Now you try. Like, like it's freaking Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Switches between the hero and Langoy. We're just called the hero, I guess. Press again for hero mode. Yes, we know. Yes, you don't have to keep repeating that. So now we have our weapon, so we can finally fight this thing. 
But first, I should also point out that we can fly! Moon Prism Power! We'll explain that later, but first we need to kill these things. With the directional buttons, we can move them. The situation has taken a turn for the worse. Senjo, already devastated by an enormous humanoid weapon, has seen the appearance of another enormous warcraft. What will become of Senjo now? The city's fate appears to grow dimmer than a candle in the wind. What a, who uses that expression? I've never heard someone say that expression. Chairman, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you quite clearly. Dr. Wiltz? Dr. Wiltz. Von Schneider. The enemy's coming. What should I do? I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm so scared. I'm, I'm so scared. I'm Why has a Nova laser? Press the triangle button. Now you try. The problem with this is that we aren't at the same one length as him. I don't know how to freaking. Yeah, the bow, bow. Okay, the game hasn't told me how to do this yet, but I'm going to do it anyway, because it's the only way I've ever seen it. And this is why I didn't want to play, play as this thing, because I don't know how to freaking get it to go, go down. <coughs> oh yeah, and you've probably noticed, I'm not actually inside this thing, robot. I'm, I'm controlling it from the ground. That's why I jumped up on this building for a better Nova laser didn't harm it? What armor? Fine, uh, fine, uh, schnitzel. <laughs> Sorry. So this is Vargara's power. What should I do? Hey, I don't know what to do, Doctor. I never went to past second grade. Press the circle button and fire a sky torpedo. It's powerful, but you're limited to just a few. Make every shot count. Okay, so... Sky Torpedo! Oh! It vanished! Oh my! And now I can't see... It teleported to avoid attack? Oh no! That must be Vargara's defense mechanism! The Phantom System! Oh no! My god! Our attacks won't hit! Fortress Mode can't get the job done! Fine! Change over to the vertical mode. Press the square button. And now we can change it to a robot mode. First, I'm gonna move this thing up here a bit so I can just see it. Transform! So this is the vertical mode. The Meganite's true form. Yay! With its skinny ass arms. Yes, I know how to make it walk. The R1 or L1 buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we hold R2, R1 and R2 and simultaneously, that will turn in that direction, basically. Yes, I know how to switch between Hero and Mega Knight. Stop telling me that. And the directional buttons change the angle of its body. We can make it do this. There's been an amazing new development. The enormous flying machine, which suddenly appeared only a short okay, while ago, transformed into a human robot right before our eyes. Okay, first it's off, we incredible. Should it must be easily 40 meters tall. The mechanical giant towers over its surroundings. Show up on one of these buildings, hopefully, if my magic flight. Of I, hey, I'm trying to Jamming. do something. Move in for hand-to-hand -hand combat. I was going to do that if you didn't interrupt me. The Phantom System should not react to punches thrown at short range. Very well. The analog sticks are for punching. Tip one up to throw a punch. Yes, I... The, the you should up. know... Yes, yes, yes. Tip. That's easy for you to say. Why don't we just give the scientist the controller? since he knows how this thing works. Oops. 
there's been a startling new development. The newly emerged humanoid weapon has challenged the rampaging robot. The two mechanical giants are locked in fierce battle. It's incredible! We can feel tremors from their violent clashes. Could this be the coming of the Armageddon? And we have to deal with this stupid rail. Right? Oh, whoops! What is it now? I'll teach you a powerful punch. I haven't even done a regular punch yet. Tip an analog stick out to the side. Then rotate it up 90 degrees to throw a hook. I'm okay. Ooh, there was a hook. It looks like karate chop, but... Sorry, I'm reopening the chat again. Sorry, I have to do this. Here, let this process the game. Come on. Show me the damn chat, you piece of shit. I will break you. Sorry, World Cookie Factory. Tip an analog stick down. Then rotate it up 180 degrees for an even stronger punch. Now you try. <laughs> he said it. Energy output down. We confirm the attack is effective. Hooray! It's working! Violence. Chairman, keep Man, going! Fire the Nova laser with the triangle button. Note that it consumes energy. I, I thought the Nova laser didn't do anything. Aerial missiles are launched with the circle button. You only have a few of them, however. Yes, I know, they didn't. I thought we couldn't use that because of the stupid. This thing, you dumbass! And now it's behind us. That's the Phantom system. Aha! Good. The energy's charged. Use, Use the grand, grand charge attack aerial Karoda. Press the R1 and L1 buttons together to charge. Then press the triangle button to fire. Yes, I shall do that, mine Führer. First off, let's uh, get some distance between us and this guy. Don't you wish you could see this? Wrong way, I turned the wrong way. Out! And he didn't punch us, but it's alright. We only took out a few bait, a few fast food chains. He'll get back up, I think. Let's try this grand shot again. Wow, wouldn't that have been great to see? And we did it, we killed him. Hopefully next mission we'll be able to see something without a stupid railing in the way. That's the biggest challenge of this game, is getting to a good vantage point. And here's Becky again. Shortly after noon today, an enormous humanoid weapon landed on our soil. The enormous robot was the second to be seen after the Italian calamity. The unidentified robot attacked the city of Senjo indiscriminately. Numerous casualties have been reported. This second robot was challenged by a third humanoid robot. In a pitched battle, the third robot defeated the second robot. 
the intervention of the third robot saved Senjo from total annihilation. The victorious robot left Senjo. Its present whereabouts are unknown. How do you lose sight of Damage a giant to ass Senjo robot? is extensive. <laughs> the death total is expected to reach a thousand. Wait, wait, I want to listen to more of her report. And yes, Cave Wolf, this game is awesome. And I, and you should try the emulation sometime because I love it too. We're going to save. Going to save our game on the memory card. <laughs> I can't stop talking like a German, dude. Okay, and that now... No, I don't want to go back to the main menu. Get, take us to the next mission. Let's kill some more stuff. <laughs> Capital Crisis, part one. <laughs> oh, it's this bitch again. The first humanoid weapon that destroyed Rome, Italy, is bound for the United Kingdom. So it's walking all the way across The Royal Europe. Navy has sent out a task force to intercept the approaching threat. We've just received breaking news. A fourth humanoid weapon has appeared. Its location is Tokyo Bay. The His latest humanoid Ultraman. weapon is headed for Tokyo. The government urges us all to remain calm. Oh, yeah, the Japan's kind of Self-Defense Force, JSDF, has already been deployed. And I it is marshalling it its what combined arms in Harumi, Tokyo. What's wrong with this stupid tablet? A major assault against the approaching robot is planned. Residents in the area have been advised to evacuate under official guidance. People in Tokyo are probably really used to that by now, having to evacuate every time, every single time a kaiju or giant robot attacks. They're probably used to it by now, and they're probably... I don't see understand why they still, still live in Tokyo if it gets destroyed all the, and targeted all the time. A Volgara giant I'm appeared in Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh, sorry, I can't just... I like talk pretending to be him. The self-defense force appears to be struggling. They have appealed for our help. Oh, so they know about us? The armed forces wouldn't risk fighting if they weren't ready. Volgara's power must be overwhelming. That is news. Only the Trilenium Committee can take on the Volgara. Oh, hey, British pair. Nice to see you again, Asher. And ready to enjoy some Jap corny Japanese robot mayhem and bad dubs? <laughs> That's why your father put all of his money into the upkeep of the committee. Yeah. Duh. <sighs> We converted the Mega Knights to fight the Valgara. Ah, Volgara. Even though the Mega Knights were never intended to be weapons. We were intending to use them as for gotcha games. But we had no choice. It was all we could do to fight the Valgara. We all knew that. Your father too. Don't bring my father into this, you jackass. I have to get up to Tokyo. What should I be doing? I don't know. It's a thing. You can fly to Tokyo on Lyol in the fortress mode. First, you need to get up onto Lyol. We've equipped you with the gravity drive, a portable anti-gravity device. Hold down the circle button to activate the gravity drive and ascend into the air. And Asher, yes, this guy is German. He, he's a German scientist working for us. Use of the gravity drive will reduce the gravity gauge in the lower left corner. Yes, I saw that. You don't have to go If the gauge a... empties, the gravity drive will be deactivated. Wait for the gauge to refill. You don't have to go through several paragraphs explaining this, man. I understand. Use the gravity drive to ride on top of the Mega Knight. Yes, 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 mein Fjarf. And we're going to fly up to our robot. Oh, oh shit. I'll let my gravity drive recharge. 
Come on, Kimmy, let's get up there. Stand right on the air, go ahead. Good! Yeah, now you try. <laughs> you can walk freely atop the Meganite to wherever it's easiest to control. Word of warning, you don't want to be on top of these things when they're in humanoid mode because they will throw you off and cause you to bleed a lot. Yes, I... Alright, we'll go a bit back a bit further. Just be careful, this thing has a bunch of gaps in it that you can fall through. Control the magnet while you're on it. It's faster to ride. Believe me. Yes, I was going to do that I'll before try. you interrupted me, you schnitzel. Now it's time to fly to the rescue. Just play any Super Sentai team. This is live from Senken oh, Corridor. <laughs> the mysterious giant war machine Wee. that defeated the hostile humanoid uh -oh. weapon has reappeared. Oops, it is simply it immense. It must be at least 40 meters tall. It has been rumored oh, to be a self-defense force secret weapon. However, the authorities have denied any knowledge of it. What exactly is this massive machine? <laughs> a German character Good. voiced by Nolan. A North fast North. learner as always. You shut up for five seconds. Fine. Make way to Tokyo. Asher just played COD Zombies playing as a German character voiced by Nolan North, so the quality and performance Tokyo is quite Tokyo is in this direction. You need to ride Lyol there. All right. We've just received word that the Volgara landed in Tokyo. Uh, why is the screen so blurry? Stop it. You need to get to Tokyo right away. I think we've already arrived in Tokyo, mind you. Uh, this is not where we started. machine appears to be traveling northbound towards Tokyo via Senken Corridor, while the city is once again under attack from a giant humanoid weapon. Oh yeah, Asher, we don't actually get inside the robot. We use a, like a bootleg uh, P PlayStation 2 controller to control it on the ground or uh, on the top of a building. Yeah, we don't actually get inside it. And there's that part of the mission done. Nothing worth celebrating. Nah, no reason to say we didn't really do anything. Come on, hurry it up. Let's get to the stuff. Most of we bring you breaking news. Funds go. We've received an update on the fourth humanoid weapon that appeared yesterday. Early this morning, the self-defense force subjected the robot to a bombardment. Over a hundred tanks took part in the attack, which shrouded Harumi in thick smoke. The hostile robot withstood the attack and retaliated to devastating effect. Oh no. Having disposed of the JSDF, the robot made land at Harumi. Wait, if it just the situation has degenerated into panicked chaos in the area. Wait, wait if it didn't make land before destroying them, how did it destroy them? It said it fought tanks, so was for the, the tanks. Immense in the immense humanoid ocean? weapon is stalking unimpeded through Tokyo. The JSDF, the protector of the populace, has been reduced to a mere shadow of itself. We may well be witnessing the end of the world. Tokyo, the international metropolis, is becoming a blazing yeah, ruin in a mere day. Run. There are only like five different models. Oh, bless the PS2. I'm still a lot better than most of the crap you see today. Yes, we have the giant robot. Please. His tiny pencil claws. 
for his shoulder spikes. Now we battle in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh god, more blurry visuals. What the frick is that? Are we in Warhammer 40k now? Tokyo has sustained horrible casualties. Cavewolf00 says Earth Defense Force is coming to mind watching this, and it's funny you say that because this game was actually made by the same people who made Earth Defense Force, Sandlot, so they do look very similar. The number of dead and injured has already topped 2,000. Another fun fact is there are supposedly more games like this one made by the same people, but they're all Japanese exclusive. Which sucks, because the Japs keep all the good things to themselves. That's terrible. Yeah, I'm so sad. The Volgara will be passing through this area shortly. There are the panties. They're all getting stuck on the rail lines. <laughs> Tofu! Aren't the evacuations over? We have to do something! The Volgara's dead ahead! It's coming your way! Then we fight! Volgara! It has to be stopped before it gets to those people! Yes, we know. Why don't you give me the control of the character so I can get into combat? Exclusive live report. The mysterious war machine that saved Senjo has appeared in Tokyo. Has it come to challenge the berserk enemy robot? The battle between the huge weapons of war is about to start. Barrier. Yes, we've heard that before. Will you stop it? To we stand a chance against the ultimate form of evolution. Well, I killed the last one, so. So, Cave Wolf said, I've seen this landmark in an EDF game, and you, you probably did. And it's probably going to get destroyed. Oh, I just knocked over a bridge. completely overwhelmed. Could you stop interrupting me so, so I can... Dr. Arai was right. Dr. Arai. And he's getting the back The shrink surpasses that of the Vargara. It is we who will survive. Phantom system has been rendered inoperable. Yay, now we can shoot its lasers. Good. Finish it. Seventy thousand people in that building, and we killed them all. Not sure we should be celebrating. Oh well. Okay, 
next mission. Thrill. Okay, and then now back to this lady. Hello, we bring you breaking news. For the 17th time this day. A new humanoid weapon has appeared on our shores. Oh, no. We'll go to a live report from the scene. But first, a message from Tentacle Hentai Central. For all your Tentacle Hentai needs. A new, enormous humanoid weapon has appeared. Oh, no. It appears to be of a different design than the previous robots. The new robot appears to be fitted with drills on its arms. Could they be devastating new weapons? It is speculated that this latest robot appeared to avenge its defeated comrades. How much is everyone getting on this new show? I don't know, probably not enough. Meanwhile, back to the Japanese soap opera that's already in progress. Such an irritating Hello, Chairman. Tone. Are you all done with school? Yes, did you finish? Do your homework? Did you yes. get in any fight? But don't you think it's crazy? Why would they hold classes during all of this? I think that it's a good thing. Why? They're in danger. If things don't get better, it may not be possible to keep schools open. Oh, news. So is that a bad thing? All the kids would be happy. They wouldn't have to go to school. I know. Please come by the committee. Oh, very well. We're in the basement of the Civilization Preservation Foundation. Um, okay. The foundation is indicated by the red dot on your map. Okay. Yes, I know. I've been there several times. So yeah, we were just uh, doing our usual thing in school. And if we go up to one of these doors and, I think, press the action button, we can go up to the roof instantly, so we don't even have to use our gravity thing. And for some reason, we still have our gravity drive, even though we were at school. Hopefully that big bully Vanessa didn't try to take them. Uh, she, she said my dress looks stupid, and then she threw rice cake balls in, at me, and then she wouldn't let me out of the bathroom, and then she... She stole my panties and gave them to the boys. So I'm going to punch her face in. British Asser says think school is good, and well, I agree with you now. I, but back then, I would say fuck school. I hated going to school, getting up early and stuff, getting tormented by all the assholes there. Yeah, fuck those guys. I still remember some of them. They remember their names and their faces. And... Hey, police officer, can you give me a ride? Can anyone give me a ride? I don't know. The committee's right there. I just... My legs are tired from all the gravity driving. Is no one going to give, give a girl a lift? Does this girl need to get stripped down to her panties? Oh, there's a car. Wait, officer, wait, please. Ah! Jesus, even in, two th in 2002, there was pol excessive police brutality. See how much blood came out of her? Okay, here's the committee. Hello, Chairman. Welcome. Kiji just made a joke saying, You must write a four-page report on the robot attack. <laughs> Good joke, buddy. Oh, hi, Keiko. Keiko. Long time no see. Because we're in Japan, if you didn't already catch on to that. It certainly has been a long time. Really? We were just talking on the radio in the last mission. It must have been at a foundation party the last time we saw each other. 
Okay, you were just business. Since then, colleagues, then, the foundation fell into bankruptcy. Yes, we know. And that, we had right? to disband. Yes, yes, we know. But the committee is now humanity's one hope. The foundation has been vindicated by what is happening now. Despite all the civilian casualties that have occurred because of our recklessness. But I wish this day never came. Oh boy. Ah, Chairman. So you're here. Dr. Wiltz. There's something I want to show you. Ah. Have a look at this. It's a it's a Mega Man prop. We're going to mass produce it and sell it at conventions and make a fortune. Okay, so uh, I was watching some other guys play this game and they were using the rocket punch robot. And the rocket punch robot got a drill arm, but this one apparently ha gets different. They apparently get different stuff, so that's neat. It's Lyle's thunder arm. You'll find that attachment useful for close combat. I had better teach you how to deploy it. We better take the lecture. And they rip off the Evangelion elevator sequence. Jesus, those elevators must be super expensive. And they got like several of those, I think. You probably don't want to stand The Mega Knight right. has an arm weapon stored inside each of its arms. Yes? Press the R3 button to deploy the right arm weapon. Ah, uh, R3. Pressing the L3 button deploys the left arm weapon. Yes, yes, I caught on to Repeat that. it. Repeat it. Um, the R3 button is for the right arm weapon, and the L3 button controls the left. The right arm weapon is for close combat, and the left arm weapon fires projectiles. Why does it have to be the specific arm? Can I just... Repeat it. Um... The right arm weapon is for close combat. The left arm weapon shoots things. Good. We'll start with the right arm weapon. Press the R3 button. Okay, I'm going to stand up first. All right. And our thunder arm. Good. It only costs 20 billion yen. If the right arm weapon is deployed, Mega Knight's close combat power is boosted. However, it continually drains energy. You should only use it when it's necessary. Now you try deploying the left arm weapon. Pre Good. With the left arm weapon deployed, tip the left analog stick up to attack. What the hell is this music? Now you try. Now you try. Say, say, left arm weapon. Oh crap, I forgot what you were saying. Oh, ah. And we just drained all of Tokyo's power grid with that one shot. Unlike the right arm weapon, the left arm weapon will not continually suck energy. However, it reduces the left arm's punching power. Use it only when it's necessary. <laughs> Fine. Now we wait for the real fight to begin. All right, Doctor. And there's that mission done. All we did was shoot some electricity at the building across the street. Probably got a bunch of lawsuits because of that, but uh, it's an acceptable loss for the defense of humanity. Hello, we bring you the latest news on the mystery robots. Mm -hmm. Up to now, the identities of the hostile humanoid weapons have been unknown. Today, however, the United States government made an official announcement. 
Of course, the it's US the government States. believes that the robots are of alien origin. NASA believes that the robots originated from the Volgara planetary system. How the hell do they know that? The I government thought... of Russia also made an announcement concerning the mysterious robots. Wait, wait, don't go away. I want to listen to hear what Russia had to say. Vladimir Putin probably blames the Americans for it. That's for sure. What a douche. And back to the Japanese soap opera. Yay, time to go home. I'm going to watch some some Evangelion and masturbate to all the sexy underage characters. Ugh. I'm probably gonna get kicked off Twitch for saying that. Oh, and there's Nanao. She's still alive. For some reason. Hi! Hey! Nanao! Are you going home now? Yup! Is your club cancelled? Oh yeah, the tentacle hentai of the year club has been officially cancelled due to the extreme disaster in progress. Yeah, it's this state of emergency now. Do you want company? I'll walk with you most of the way home. Sure! Repress sexual lesbian instincts. Because remember, this was 2002. Nanao? Yes? Um, Nanao, you lived with your grandmother before, isn't that right? How are you managing to get by now? I'm selling my panties to use to men online. I'm on my own now. I'm getting by. Somehow. Oh. Can you afford to keep going? Well, that's why I had to find work. I have to pay my own way from now on. Oh. That sounds hard. Is there anything I can do to help? Why can't you be like Lelouch from Code Chaos, where he just lives in the dorm at the academy that where his mom worked at and blah blah pfft, uh, never mind don't feel sorry for me i'll be fine yay everything is you've happy. been through terrible times too i've heard that you were wealthy before but you're basically bankrupt now well excuse me no need to be that rude bitch. we both have to keep trying we can't give up thanks for reminding me right yeah i guess so you're right. Especially now in these terrible times. I found work at the bakery close by. We make tentacle- Can you walk me there? We make tentacle-shaped pastries. Of course. I apologize to any Japanese people on the stream. I'm sorry for all these insensitive jokes. God, we almost saw up her skirt. God damn it, Japan. What is with you and your obsessions with skirts? Thankfully, we have this GPS map embedded in our head that we can view at any time. Term tar location confirmed. Proceeding coup to coordinates. Now still coming? Yeah, she doesn't want to walk on the grass, though. She's one of those people. Oh god, slow down. Don't know why it does that. Come on, game, hold together. Thanks for keeping me company. No problem, Nanao. Hang in there. Yep, I'll do that. Why is your character model not as detailed as mine? Uh-oh. Jolly music's going away. Um, can I ask you something? Would you like to go to dinner? What's up? Who are you? What the fuck? 
You don't know who I've been, I am this whole time. What is the committee? I um, Well, I... When you saw that robot, you called it Volgara. Mm-hmm. You knew about them? Those robots? Oh, God, she's going to start blaming us for everything that's happened. Oh, like one of these characters. Oh, boo-hoo. Because they're all bitter. Yeah, I hate these characters. You ever see Zambot 3? It's that. It's not as bad as Zambot 3. Whoa, but what is all. it? Gee, what do you think it is, Nanao? We saw this the first time we saw it. Volgara! Oh, news! Nanao, run! You have to get out of here! So now the Drill Boy has appeared. He's going to destroy Nanao's bakery! Oh, no! So we're just gonna leave Nanao behind for now and just run around for a bit until they get to our robot. It's about fucking time. Chairman, Come on. are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Just de deploy I the robot. I think so. I think it's a new Volgara. There are drills on its arms. Oh, drills. Scary. It's here, is it? Well, we are counting on you, Chairman. Pardon? But what should I do? My Mega Knight isn't here. Launch sequence completed. We're good to go whenever you're ready. Pardon? Why is she so surprised? It can Your fly. Mega Knight will be launched from the Foundation's gate. Press the Select button. Oh, no way! Same select button. Now we deploy Evangelion, I mean Langolia, or whatever this thing's called. I can't pronounce its name. Now we gotta be careful because you know the bakery and now showed us where she works? That can get destroyed. Class A evacuation warning has been sounded for all of Senjo. Yeah. A Volgara robot is approaching the city. The residents are urged to evacuate immediately, as guided by the authorities. Well, this is a good camera angle. Ah, much better. This is Mika Balhara, reporting live. The mysterious robot that saved Japan on several occasions has appeared again. It appears set to confront the new humanoid weapon. However, the latest humanoid weapon is equipped with drills on its arms. There's no That's... telling how this battle will turn out. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Don't mind me. Not too good at this. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is right next to us. Well, at least we don't have to go through. out for the enemy's grand charge attack, Crypt Drill. Even Mega Knight's armor can't withstand a direct hit. I wish you told me that before I made him teleport behind me. So what should I do? I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Oh yeah, British Asher. Uh, you say, oh god, it can teleport. Yeah, these robots, they're all equipped with something called the Phantom System. When you shoot at them, they can teleport behind you, so you have to punch them up until you disable it before you can shoot them normally. According to our data, it always has to grand charge before using Clip Drill. To put it simply, it strikes a pose before using it. When it does, Brace for the attack! Very well! Press both analog sticks inward to guard! Very well! Now let me fight already! Rod! Don't do your brain charge! 
Electricity? Their clash should be intense. despite the fact we're on top of a building. What is that robot? Why are you controlling it? Why are you so surprised about this? You saw this robot in the controller in the first mission. Well, it's... Why? Why are you in control of something oh, so God, horrible? Oh, God, here we go. She's blaming us, saying, That's a robot, and all robots are evil. Yeah. Robots kill people! Well, if it weren't for this one, you'd be dead too, you whiny little bitch. A robot killed Grandma! That was the Volgara robot, you idiot. This robot's no different! Yes, it is, you dumbass! Quit being a bitch. At least now, your bakery's it's not right. the same! What's different about it? Do I really need to spell it out for you, you little jackass? And she runs away in a fuming... Nanao! Nanao! Oh no! We were going to sleep together. Save current game data! God, that guy's voice is stuck in my head. Well, we destroyed the elevator that takes the robot underground, so I don't know where we're going to put it. I guess in the parking lot? Just make sure no one steals it. Where do we keep the controller for the robot anyway? It's pretty big and bulky. We shove it up our ass. What the front show down? Episode 6. Good afternoon. We bring you the latest news on the humanoid robots. A new giant robot has been confirmed off our coast. It is presently 100 kilometers off the coast of Senjo. Oh no. The robot is apparently making its way towards the port city. Reports from the government indicate that these giant robots are known as Volgara. Mm -hmm. The JSDF is assembling its forces off the coast of Sanjo to intercept the Volgara. Oh, all good there, Katu. 
we have a live feed from the scene. Has there ever been a instance where that JSDF succeeded in destroying a giant robot or kaiju? This is Mika Valhara reporting live. We are now flying above the sea off the coast of Senjo. The Japan Self-Defense Force, JSDF, is assembling a major task force below us. Attack helicopters are arriving in droves. The JSDF has so far been unable to mount a major attack against the Bulgara in urban areas due to concerns about collateral damage to the surroundings. However, out at sea, the JSDF will not have to limit its firepower. It is in this battle that the true effectiveness of the JSDF will be determined. Oh, a new vessel has arrived. It appears to be Koga, the Fudo-class cruiser, which was completed only last year. The ship was criticized as being overly armed for a defensive role. However, it is now considered to be a trump card against the Bulgara threat. Why don't we just use Space Battleship Yamato in its wave motion gun? That would just disintegrate everything in its way. And he, now we get a mission menu. So we get another mission now. And we're not getting paid for this mission as shown by the money amount. Ooh, the space needle. Two minutes to the Mega Knight's launch. Please check the surrounding area until then. Very well. Roger. I've never battled here. I'd better check things out and get to know the area. Right. There's a big ass tower. I doubt we'll be able to fly up there, which is a shame. I remember flying up on a structure like that in Earth Defense Force 2025 as the wing and then an ant grabbed me and threw me off. And a random Abrams tank. Not sure why the Japanese have those, but hey, at least they're using good tech. Captain! That robot sent Koga! Who knows? We are no match against the enemy! All we need to do is buy a little time. The civilian evacuations aren't completed yet. The longer we keep the robot at bay, the more civilians we could save. But, but all we have is a tank. We won't even slow it down. Quit your whining. We have to do what we can to help. Well, at least these guys are rather noble. A tank? Why on earth are they here? So let's go say hi. Friend. It's unsafe here. Please leave the area right away. Huh? What about you? What exactly are you doing here? Er, uh, uh... It doesn't matter. You just have to leave right away. What in blue blazes are you saying? Run! Get out of here! Double time! That humanoid weapon is headed straight this way! Oh, and here he comes. Here it comes! And they can apparently function just fine in the water. It's gigantic. No wonder Koga sank. What the hell are we supposed to do against that thing? Why does it have a brain in its crotch? Maybe try shooting the brain in the crotch? And apparently we have an elevator under the harbor as well. How many of these damn elevators do we have? be where all the tax dollars are going. Look over there! That's the mech that took out the enemy robots. Please leave. 
Yeah, yeah, they are gonna listen. And who are you? I'll forget this. I, I, I to fight this giant robot. And our tank friend will help us out, although he really doesn't do much. The Volgara is closing on Senjo. Having wiped out the JSDF, nothing can stop it. Oh, a new human on weapon has appeared. It is the same robot that has already saved Japan several times. Has it appeared again to protect Senjo? You can defeat these things by just flailing the analog sticks. Blazes is going on here. And we completed another mission. This game has like 47 missions, I heard, so we're not going to get through this game tonight. And we still have some time left, so I'm going to have to sit through some more bad dialogue. Yes, 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 yes. Overwrite file. Come on, hurry up. Giant robots, bunch of bunch of yippee robots. <laughs> Phantom system. Wow, so that's Volgara's technology. Why it is? Hmm. Yes, this is the problem. Uh, the phantom system. The image glitches. They are the menace to us all. It's because of this system that armed forces have been defeated every time. It's a teleportation device that is triggered by approaching energy fields. It's staggering to think how it can instantly teleport the huge mass of a robot. If I didn't actually see it, I don't think I would have believed it. So long as the defense system exists, our conventional weapons are worthless. It's no mystery why the JSTF loses to the Valgara. It's a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. Well, they could build bro giant robots too, or at least like arm slaves, like from Full Metal Panic, but... Is there anything that we could do? I think the entire economy of Japan was used to construct our robot. The one effective attack is to make the Mega Knight physically batter the Valgara. Well, it's worked fine so far, so I don't see why to stop The Phantom it. System is incapable of reacting to Mega Knight's punches. And this is important. The Phantom System fails after damage builds up. Really? The phantom system becomes useless after absorbing a certain level of damage. That means you can use missiles and beams after the system goes down. Mm -hmm. So I should disable the phantom system by punching, then use missiles and beams. Yes, we know that already. We've been doing it for like the past five levels. Oh, oh God. That, oh, that alarm was so... Chairman, a new Volgara is approaching. Hmm. Speak of the, the devil. devil. What type is it? 
the same as the others we've seen already? She did, did just say it's a new type of Drogara. Negative. There's no corresponding data on file. It appears to be a new type. What? A new type? Oh, no. Yes, it's 90% breast and ass. And here's the map. Blah, blah. Let's kick some ass. I think this is the robot I fought in uh, the demo. This big bulky guy. Kinda looks like an act guy from uh, Gundam. With that little amphibious suit with the big head. Although this one has a tiny head. The, uh, everything else about it looks almost identical though. Holy shit. Nope, 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 no, not the sky bridge! I had my first kiss up there with Manau. That's gonna be a mess to clean up. Oh, the cities are gonna stink for weeks. And we have yet another elevator built under the tennis court. Imagine if Venus was playing a game there during this attack. That poor woman would get thrown against the side of a building. Yes, we've seen this a lot. What is it? Now? The enemy is a new type. Yes, yes, I we've caught on. To that. It appears to have a more powerful phantom system than the other before. Okay, so I won't shoot it. I just punch it. What should I do? What, the, what do you think you should do, you dunce? We, you fought like several of these things. Just punch it. Attacking it with a projectile right away would be worthless. It will just avoid it. Yes, I know. You don't have to. You go need to get in close for hand to hand combat. It's like the MGS of Mecha series. So much, so many more hurts. Anyway, we gotta get closer to this guy. Out of the way, dude. Save your opponent. Oh yeah, and those cars will just mow people down if they get in the way. Anyway, we're gonna forget about the Volgar and go play some football! Yay! And yes, I'm aware it's a soccer field, but they call soccer football in pretty much every other country except the U.S. And there's no easy way to get out of this. I just completely wasted it. Come on! Get on the roof! Get on the roof, baby! Yeah! I've got bad news. What? Not only does the enemy have a powerful phantom system, it has beefed up armor. Oh, boo hoo, I just have to punch harder. The phantom system and thickened armor? Yes, yes, that's what he said. You don't have to repeat the it. The phantom system has to be stopped by fighting in. Yes, yes, you but finally learned. But the thick learned. armor prevents oh, it from God. taking damage. Just let me punch it. Regardless, you must get in close to disable the phantom system. Yes, I know. I was doing Once that. Once it is out of commission, destroy the Vargao with a powerful weapon. Key. Understood? Yes, I understood. Now shut up. Kijiba said uh, they must have called in Zeon because that's what used the act guy. And he also says a beam saber would have come in handy, but I guess it'll be expensive. And yes, he's, you're completely correct. We do have a thunder arm, though. So we'll try using that. Oops. Raised a bit of the gotcha. Dragon Ball Z. Wait, oops, oops. These controls can get a little Aha! Thunderball! 
There's no question that the enemy's armor is thick. Yes, I'm working on it. Will you stop interrupting but me? But the Mega striking power is certain to overwhelm it. Chairman, we are count. Yes, I'm working on it. Stop interrupting. <laughs> So it's on our side. Its combat ability exceeds the Volgara's. If it were to be the enemy, what would become of humankind? Well, it's a good thing that's not going to happen, um, right? Hopefully these guys don't try to stop that before we're done with the Volgara. her again for like the, this is like the eighth Good evening. time we've seen her. We begin our broadcast with news on the mystery robot that has saved Japan. And we'll watch, watch Marvelous Mel The now. government today made an official announcement concerning the robot. The defense agency officially denied rumors that the robot is a JSDF secret weapon. Instead, it is said to belong to the Civilization Preservation Foundation. Nothing is known about this private organization, however. And that was the whole special report. Sorry to have wasted your time. <laughs> it's almost time to stop, but I'll show you the next mission because I've seen it and it's kind of silly. The cutscene. Come on, what's our biggest threat now? A tentacle hentai robot? Alright, sorry, no more tentacle hentai jokes. Senjo's protector! Here, look at this, chairman. Oh, are these plans? Yes, they are plans for... for an unauthorized Amer English translation of Gut Crossbone Gundam. They must be destroyed. We cannot allow the Americans to possess our Gundam mangas. The Sigma plan. It's a plan to upgrade the Mega Knight. Oh, so you want to make the Mega Knight stronger? Correct. The Mega Knight was not originally developed for combat. Also, where are we? Where's this command center? I destroyed the building we that was we've been meeting at, so uh, unless they rebuilt it super quick, we're probably somewhere else. Or it has been modified somewhere. over the past few years to counter the Valgara. Mm -hmm. However, 
The modifications so far are inadequate. Are you sure? I've been doing just fine. The Mega Knight should be far more powerful in combat. It's going to get stronger? Correct. Wonderful, Dr. Wilts. Are the modifications going smoothly? Hmm. Theoretically, it's perfect. But the world doesn't run on theory alone. <laughs> you mean... Uh-oh. Money. Yes. Huh? It makes the world go round. Money. You look like one of those bitches who's gonna be, pretend to be nice, but eventually turn evil, like Katagina from Victory Gundam. I can name a few of them. Cash. Yes, I heard you the first time, money. Moolah. Yes, we get it. You, I'm not a child, you stupid bitch. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that was me pretending to slap you. Who are you? Saki Kyono, our finance manager. Yes, because we, what, the one thing we really need right now is a finance manager. Actually, realistically, that would be important in this situation. The battles up to now have wiped out the Foundation's remaining funds. Yep. Repairing and maintaining the Mega Knight, munitions, the base's operating costs. You've spent several billion yen in just the past few weeks. Well, why didn't you fucking tell me? And now you want to modify the Mega Knight? Is this some horrible joke? Look, bitch, if you don't have something useful to say, then get lost. We've already spent an astronomical sum on the Mega Knight. Why quibble? You can't spend what you don't have, isn't that right? Hmm. Humanity's fate depends on the Mega Knight. But all you can do is talk about money? Yeah, why don't we just use the Mega Knight to rob a bank? That would get us some mo some, some cash. <laughs> well, we could go see the old folks in government and kiss their collective feet. Hmm. Having to answer to the government after all this time isn't an option. Wait, why? That I know. The Trillennium Committee needs to be independent, like your father always said. But fighting the Valgera costs money. We are in a bind here. For the time being, I've obtained an independent contract from the government. I thought you just said we couldn't work with the government. They've agreed to provide 10 billion yen for every Volgara we defeat. Oh, sounds great then. Not bad. Yeah, if only my character was still rich. That's what Asher said. Unfortunately, we spent all our Foundation's uh, money building the Mega Knight in the first place, so we are kind of broke now. And we also qualify for additional funding. I'll explain later. All right, let's get on with it. Oh, oh God, that alarm is so irritating. A Volgara has appeared. Oh, good. Uh. Ah, I see that you're all together. Is that a robot? An android man? His jaw looks it's too rectangular, squarish. Ah, the JSDF Joint Staff Council Chairman. Thanks for seeing us the other day. A Volgara is headed for Senjo. We've sent the 12th Airborne Unit to intercept it. But, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Uh, just in case, we'd like the Foundation to participate. Why not just send us Is in that first? a formal request, as per the terms of our contract? Affirmative. Understood. We pledge to do our best in the field. Very well. We're essentially mercs now. But then again, what else can we do? It's not too unreasonable when you think about it. Now, you'll notice there are a bunch of these other marks on the map now. Those red dots. We're going to start this mission very briefly, and sh we'll show you what those red dots are. And more of those pedestrians spawning out of the ether. 
replicas of each other. Just endlessly running. Wow. Ugh. The JSDF's 12th Airborne Unit is preparing to intercept the Volgara in Senjo Harbor. Oh, well, they rebuilt the stadium pretty damn quick. For the time being, they've asked that the Meganite be on standby. All right. In other words, we're to keep out of the way until JSDF fails in their mission. Well, he's just saying it out loud. Yeah, they're gonna fail. Who gives a f We all know it. Kinda mean, though. Well, JSDF has to save face. They can't just ask for our help right away. Unless they so build a Meganite going to wait a while. Own. Why don't they just build their Fine. own robot? Fine. You should go outside while there's still some time. All right, bitch. Jeez. Hmm? Hmm? That way, you can familiarize yourself with the city's geography. We've been here like twice already, though. I don't know why I have to familiarize myself with it, but she's going to explain that to us. Okay, creepy money backstabbing. A class A evacuation oh. warning has been sounded for all of Senjo. A Volgara robot is approaching the city. The residents are urged to evacuate immediately as guided by the authorities. She got to start talking again to explain to me what she wanted to tell me about. Have you gotten acquainted with the city's layout? I know where the stadium is. Does that count? Well, yes. I live here. Good. Then I can skip to the bottom line. The government will provide 10 billion yen for every Volgara you dispose of. But there are other ways of earning additional funding. Look at that building. That eyesore? That's Masaki's Heavy Industries head office building. You can see where If this you is can going. protect that building from harm and battle, MHI will provide special funding to the tune of 1 billion yen. They're calling it the Masaki Award. Wow, super robot for hire. Oh, that's where Ga Lisa that's Masaki lives. That's Masaki Heavy Industries plant. That's where Lisa lives from Gaspar and Lisa. No one's going to understand that reference. If it's not destroyed, we earn another billion yen. Who the fuck has all these billions of yens just laying around? It's the Masaki Plant Award. So we got the regular Masaki Award and the Masaki Plant Award. Hmm. Hmm. Next, I want you to go to the red spot shown on the map. All right. Just turn around. See what she's moaning about. Because we can fly through the sky if we think happy thoughts. So noisy around here. I thought the Japanese were used to this stuff. And it's this oddly shaped building right here. Oh, it's City Hall. This is the Senjo City Hall. The city will pay 1 billion yen if it's still standing after battle. Yeah, they I... call it the Senjo Mayor Award. Okay, I get the idea, lady. These. If I keep this stuff intact, they're gonna pay me more money. Huh. Simple. You can move on to the red spot on the map. <sighs> Very well. It's like seven blocks away. Couldn't you give me a car ride or something? Come on, get lost. Get what? The JSDF is struggling against the enemy. 
Yep. They appear to have sustained severe casualties already. Okay, I want to read some of the comments. Are there any good voice acting in this game, says Asher. Cave Wolf said they, they could have a bake sale for extra money, and that's a good idea. And Kijiba said you get the key up to the city, which I presume is if we protect City Hall. Do they want us to join? Well, unless that key is worth a billion billions of yen, there's really no point in using it. And Cave Wolf says robot-themed cookies and cakes. There haven't been any calls for help. Well, th that's fine. For the GSDF is desperate. Well, can we just can't But just it's wait? the ordinary people who end up paying. Well, just go to the red mark on the map and stop interrupting me. Oh, and Asher said, but Leon, she can't drive a car. That'd be silly. Oh, oh yes, she's a silly Japanese girl. A Class A evacuation warning has been sounded for all of Senjo. A Volgaro robot is approaching yeah, yeah. the city. The residents are urged to evacuate immediately as guided by the authorities. I will use my flight abilities again. Are those the speed limits on the road? Why would they put them on the road? That would be hard to see. Now watch it, douchebag. You're trying to grope me, pervert. Okay, we're almost there. I get a boost. Let me guess, the hospital? Yes, it's a hospital. We have to protect this too. That's Senjo Hospital. Yep. Protect it and earn the Red Wing Cross Award. Mm-hmm. Okay, we done with that? We done? We got to kill robots now? There's one last thing. Oh. Well, get, spit it out, hurry! If you can minimize the amount of damage to the city in battle, we'll earn 5 billion yen Ooh. from the Construction Minister Award. Well, that's a reward I'm never going to see, given my past performance. Huh. Ooh, I'm gonna buy a new phone. Let me in. Aw, they're all sold out. The JSDF has sustained staggering casualties. They're already retreating. Well, that's a fucking surprise. The Volgara has resumed its advance. It's closing on Senjo's new city center. They already built a so new city center? So after all that, the city still turns into the battlefield. Well, time to launch the Mega Knight. And Cave Wolf says if you can fly, why Chairman, not? I'm counting on you. <laughs> Don't forget what I told you. Yes, I remember. It's going to be that Mega more Knight all to clear me. for launch. You can launch any time by pressing. Yes, yes, we know. I think this is where I'm going to end it. I'm sorry, but it's getting late and I want to unwind for the evening. So thank you all so much for coming out tonight. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping to stream every Saturday if I can. And I'm glad I was able to play this game. It, it was a lot of fun and I'm going to play, hope to play it more both on and off stream. So when next time I see you guys, we'll play, play, try playing something else. Try to be different. We'll try to diversify a bit. I was going to play the demo for Little Gator Game, but somewhat they took the demo down for some stupid reason, so I had to improvise. Thankfully, this was an fun alternative. So I'll see you guys later. Until then, ta-ta.